State your name. Brad. Your full name. Engelbart. Is cereal soup? Why or why not? <laughs> no. Cereal is not soup. Soup is warm and a meal substitute. Is cereal not? No. A meal? I guess it's breakfast. Okay. Okay. Soup is warm. What is the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? The weirdest smell? Burnt like, hair? What is something that everyone looks stupid doing? Brushing their teeth? How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? Love it. What are the unwritten rules where you work? Wash your hands. Don't cough onto somebody. Don't touch your eye. Those aren't written anywhere. <laughs> Don't use your cell phone. If animals, if animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Iris. <laughs> She's our cat. She's kind of a bitch. State your name. Rachel Elizabeth Engelbarts. Seriously? You're gonna get your identity stolen. <laughs> Mother's maiden name? Carson. Don't you dare say it. What is the best type of cheese? I can't have cheese right now, I'm dairy free. Sharp cheddar. In one sentence, sum up the internet. Al Gore? What body part do you wish you could detach and why? <laughs> My arms so I can sleep comfortably. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in someone else's home? I'm pretty sure it was a real life Applebee's chandelier. What is the funniest name that you've actually heard used in the real world? Absidy. A B C D E. Or Shadashi. S H E dash H E. She dashy. The dash is not silent. What would be the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? You smell different when you're awake. No. Cereal is not soup. What are some fun and interesting alternatives to war that countries could settle their differences with? Group hugs. What are some things that are okay to do occasionally but definitely not okay to do every day? Drink. Unless you were in like quarantine or... <laughs> if you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Speeding. What are some fun and interesting ways to answer everyday questions like, how's it going? Or what do you do? End the sentence with, okay. <laughs> what? Like Mr. Mackey? I'm doing well, okay. <laughs> If Missouri was represented by a food, what food would it be? I, I ended that question really weird. <laughs> <laughs> what food it, would it be? What food would it be? Missouri. Probably mac and cheese. What about Illinois? Illinois, beef, steak. Ooh, not pizza? No. What's something that's really popular right now, but in five years everyone will look back on and be embarrassed by? Corona. TikTok? If you were transported 400 years into the past with no clothes or anything else, how would you prove you were from the future? Contact lenses. If you were wrongfully put into an insane asylum, how would you convince them that you're actually sane and not just pretending to be sane? I know all the words to the musical Rent. Wait. What's your favorite dance move to do when you're at the club? The robot. I need that. If you had the power to shrink any one object and carry it with you in your pocket, what item would it be? A giant thing of water. If you were arrested with no explanation, what do you think your friends and family would think? Meth? No. Drugs? No. DUI? Mm -mm. I, I wouldn't do anything. Murder? I would not get arrested. Writing a bad check? No. Fraud? No. Prostitution? No. If you had to replace your hands with something other than hands, hooks, or claws, what would you choose and why? Ice cream cones. 
And why? So I could eat them. What's the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? Earwax. Hmm. If you could have an unlimited space for something, what would it be? An indoor jungle gym. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. That was fun. That was water. <laughs> we'll clean that up later. <laughs> yeah, so we just Googled funny things. Well, we started out saying we should answer life's hardest questions, and then we changed it to let's answer the funniest <laughs> questions yeah instead let's make it the easiest questions yeah they were pretty funny even though they were supposed to be the easiest some of them were hard to come up yeah, with no, it's a, yeah it was, it was definitely hard yeah especially on the fly what's your so far what's been your favorite memory of being quarantined we're at day seven now oh gosh probably, rachel's at day like 13 yeah not being in the public i'm at day seven i really enjoyed when we introduced the tent to the kids i also really enjoyed uh, Brad and I watched a movie after the kids went to bed. We watched a movie in the tent together and mm -hmm. had popcorn. And I really, what what was the movie called? Togo? Togo. Yeah, it was on Disney+. Plus. It was good. It's like the real story behind Balto. That was probably my favorite. The tent thing? Mm-hmm. What about you? My favorite quarantine memory? You mm. asked the question. I uh, Probably when... I read to the twins before they went to bed and put, we were in Bear's room, and so I put Bear down in his crib and June had walked to the door but turned around and said, I love you, Boo Bear, before she went to sleep. She calls him Boo Bear? Yeah, she said Boo Bear. Mm, that's really, really cute. Yeah, it melted my heart. I guess. It was really As it cute. should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've, they've really changed every single day. Today, today, Lyndall used the word I, like she talked about herself as I. Yeah. She said, I don't want any, or, I don't want a ball or whatever. Instead of Lyndall, no one. Some, let us know in the comments what your favorite moment of quarantine has been, if there has been a favorite moment. I know and, it's sometimes hard to find the. And if you'd answered any of the questions differently than we did. Yeah, is, did. is cereal soup? No. Definitely. You eat it with a spoon, it's in a bowl. That's the only thing it has in common with soup. Okay. You think it's soup? I just, it's worth- What's the definition of soup? It's worth making the argument, I guess. I mean, yeah. What else do we have to do? Soup definition. A liquid dish typically made by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables, etc., in a stock or water. Hmm, so yeah. A substance or mixture perceived to resemble soup in appearance or consistency. Soupy. Really. Is it hmm. soup or soupy? So, a liquid dish, typically made by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables. And so it's not stock boiled, or water. Mm -mm. But it is a liquid dish. Huh. Hmm. It's up for debate. It is. What if I googled... Cereal? Is cereal soup. Tune in tomorrow. Welcome to our world. <laughs> Tune in tomorrow to get the answer. <laughs> oh my gosh, my bald spot. Uh, a couple of you guys have requested my messy bun. I think you'll probably find out really soon how Brad would do my hair if given the opportunity. I think what I'm gonna do is wash my hair and have it wet to start with and see what he does with, I'll just like set out some tools including a blow dryer, a straightener. I am worried about him potentially damaging my hair, I guess, with the straightener, but I'll put it on a low enough temperature that it's good and We'll see how Brad styles my hair. So that'll be fun. Anyway, are we gonna do a shout out to Jeff? Yeah, let's let's do a shout out to Jeff Houghton. He is just a really funny guy. His livelihood was a in-person comedy show in Springfield, Missouri, like in a theater type setting. And of course, with all of this, that's not able to happen right now. So he's gone online. And I don't know if you guys maybe saw the Instagram husband's video. Oh yeah, the Instagram husband. Yeah, he it went viral with that. A couple of years back. It was just I'm an called, Instagram husband. Right, it's like about the husbands who are behind all of the photos on Instagram with these chicks. It was really, really funny. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, it was hilarious. if you happen to see that because it went viral, that was him. And he has some really funny, quirky shows. So 
check him out. We'll leave a link in the description below if you want to watch him online and just support his new adventure of trying to transition his try to make an income. No kidding. When his livelihood was in person disrupted. Yeah. His livelihood depended on people getting together in person, which is sad that we can't do that right now. But anyway, check him out. He's in the link in the description box below and I'm sure he would really appreciate it if you guys are bored and you just wanted to see some funny content. Or if you're not and you just feel like doing what we recommend. Totally. All right. Well, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.